Welcome to episode 115 of the Preferred Experience Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Lasuer, and today I'm going to name this one Make Time for Recovery. I'm going to tell you a little story to start it out with. I started out this week on Monday, went to the gym by 5 a.m., was doing the warm up, and went down to just do a push up to a down dog, and my back totally went out. And I've been on the sidelines this week. Um, Low back went out. I had some points where I could barely walk. Um, I was able to go to work that day, but then after work, it like totally went out and I was just on the ground for the night and felt a little better the the next morning and been about the same ever since, but I'm, I'm kind of walking sideways when I go. And it hasn't been a a lot of fun, but I'm making it through it. And I wanted to share an idea that a lot of times, at least for me, and I know a lot of the other people I work out with, it's I'm very likely to put in hours per week of getting the workouts in, uh, going to the gym, going on runs, going on hikes, doing all that kind of stuff. But I barely ever make time for the minutes it would take to have better recovery, to be more flexible, to stretch, to roll, to use the massage guns, all the different things. And some of the ideas I've had as I've been resting this week, um, been doing what I can, but I really, I can't even stand up straight. So it just feels totally thrown off. So sometimes if you don't take the time to take care of yourself or make the time, then you are sidelined. And that's how this week's been for me. I I just haven't felt like I could do much at all. Um, So what I am recommending, some ideas for recovery are spend five to 10 minutes after your workout, stretching, rolling, using a massage gun. um, And even better, if you can get there a little earlier and, and work on any areas that are trouble, that works good. I've struggled with that, getting there before 5 a.m. in the morning. But that's something I got to make a priority because I don't want this to happen anymore. It seems to happen to me about once a year. It seems to catch up with me, especially when I don't take the time to do the things that I know I need to do to recover. And, um, you know, and mainly when I'm saying that, I'm talking about stretching, rolling, that kind of stuff. But the sleep, the eating, I'm sure some of the ways I've been eating lately contributed to it a um, little too much sugar over the weekend, and that'll cause inflammation too. So just a lot of thoughts going through my head this week on what I can do to improve. But the main thing that I wanted to hit on today is spend that time after your workout stretching, rolling, uh, using a foam roller, using a lacrosse ball, using a massage gun, and some other ideas that work really well. And a lot of times I'll, I'll wait until... I'm not feeling great to go do this, but a massage is a great thing to do for recovery. Um, I know we have some, some people at the gym that get massages regularly. Some people that I was talking to Amy, she's going to a place called stretch lab now. Um, so they've been helping her, but we also have awesome people that we work with like Shane and Kat at Arizona physical therapy. They'll help you do that kind of stuff too. Um, if you're starting to feel little aches and pains like I was with my back, um, I definitely had some warning signs. I could have gone in there, had them kind of work on me and some some trouble areas kind of get me dialed in a little better. Um, at Therizona, they, they will do cupping, they will do needling, um, all kinds of different things. They'll stretch you out, they'll teach you some exercises to strengthen any trouble areas. And they're awesome. If you haven't had a chance to work with them, highly recommend them. They do an awesome job. Then another thing that I've found really helps when I stick to it and I need to make, I'm going to make this a priority. I'm just going to commit to it now because I'm the only one to blame on my, uh, my problems this week. Um, but one of the things that really helps me when I'm, when I do this regularly and Tirsa is definitely the better one at this, is using GoWad. GoWad's an awesome uh, app that we use. Um, It's based off of where you're at on your flexibility, your mobility, and um, 
it's an awesome app. You can get a free trial on GoWad. Um, I'll put a link to their their site too, or their their social media in this post. So check them out. Uh, and then another thing that really helps that a lot of times, again, I only go when I'm not feeling great as a chiropractor. And really, I, I think getting some maintenance from a chiropractor every once in a while, especially me that has a lower back problem, it would be beneficial to, to work that in um, regularly. So I have some things I'm going to be doing whenever I get sidelined or something gets doesn't work out the way I want to. I like to not dwell on poor me. I like to think, what am I going to do to make this better? And I try and do that in all the different areas of my life. It makes a huge difference. So that's what I'm going to work on. Um, that's what I have for you this week. Take that time, make that time to get your stretching in, your rolling in, taking care of yourself because it really matters. It'll, it'll not only help you feel better, but it's going to help you perform better in the gym. It's going to help you to be able to do this for as long as you want to do it. And, um, I'm, uh, against aging. I'm not against aging in the fact of getting older, but I'm not willing to give in on not being able to do the things I want to do. So I'm going to do everything in my power to be able to do that for as long as I can. And I know that I'm around people at the gym that want to do the same. I know that all of you want to do the same. So let's make that time. Remember, it doesn't take a miracle. It takes a plan. So come up with that plan that's going to help you. And that's what I have for this week. Hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot.